In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Minecraft stuttering. This is caused due to multiple different factors, and the first thing you always want to try is to optimize your game settings. Now to do that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on options right over here, then you want to go ahead and select on video settings. Once you're over here, you're going to get something that looks like this. And basically what I recommend you guys to do first or what I recommend that you guys prioritize is the render distance. So if your render distance is incredibly high, that is going to put more strain on your graphics card and your system in general. And as a result, cause stuttering. So what I recommend that you guys do is turn down your render distance and like a really good place to put it is like eight through 12. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it at 10 right over here. So that is definitely pretty cool. And for maximum frame rate, you want to make sure that that is unlimited as well and another big thing over here where it says vsync you want to go ahead and make sure you have that turned off as well it's really important so please go ahead and keep that in mind and of course you guys can go ahead and set the graphics mode to simple and stuff like that and you guys can turn off like the clouds and particles but that really is all up to you but in my opinion the main thing that you guys should prioritize is the render distance and vsync so once you have that done go ahead and press on done and now see if your game still experiences stuttering all right, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and check your FPS. And if you're getting good FPS, that is a good sign. However, if you notice that your FPS still isn't the best, then what you need to do from there is you need to go ahead and allocate more RAM over to Minecraft. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that really quickly. So all you need to do is you need to go ahead and just exit out of Minecraft really quickly. All right, and once you're here in the Minecraft launcher, all you want to do is you want to go to the top menu and select over here where it says installations. Then you want to go ahead and look for the version of Minecraft you're trying to play. So we're playing with this one under here, 1.21.5. So what you want to do is you want to go to the right and select on these three dots just like so then go ahead and press on edit once you're over here go ahead and select on more options then where it says JVM arguments, you'll notice that we will get like this line right over here. And the first term is going to say X, M, X, and then A, G or whatever. But basically you want to remove that eight and you want to replace it with the maximum amount of RAM that is on your device. So me personally, I have a 16 gigabyte system, so I'm going to change it from eight to 16. But if you have like a 32 gigabyte system, like you have 32 gigabytes worth of RAM, then you want to go ahead and set it to 32. Or if you have 64, go ahead and set it to 64. But basically, once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on save. Now, go ahead and press on play one more time and load into Minecraft and see if that does work. But if you're still running into issues, then in my opinion, the best course of action is to actually install a performance enhancing mod in Minecraft. You guys can go to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment, and then it is going to direct you to a page that looks like this. And this is basically going to give you an in-depth guide showing you how to install Sodium. And Sodium is a performance enhancing mod for Minecraft. And basically, whenever you do install it, it is going to make your game significantly faster. And hopefully, that should actually remove the stuttering so uh what's really great about this website is that it will give you some images as well and i even did make a full in-depth video showing you how to do this as well which i'll be linking in the description down below but you guys can watch that video along with this article to kind of just get a full picture of everything and in general you should be able to go ahead and install the sodium mod pretty easily all right now next up another thing that actually matters is your system itself you want to make sure that whenever you're playing minecraft that you have a sufficient amount of storage in your ssd so basically if you have have like very little storage left you like let's say for example you have less than 10 gigabytes that really is not good and what could be happening is that your device just doesn't have enough memory that's really not good so you want to make sure you free up as much storage as possible on your device so that you're able to go ahead and run minecraft smoothly without the stuttering if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial